Hey Mike, this is Dan Russo. this video I want to cover the issue that I found with your website that I believe is costing you customers and money. First off, two things, uh, since you're advertising in the yellow pages, I made the assumption that you're looking to get new clients and grow your business this year. I also uh, made the assumption that you're likely not getting the full results you had expected and had hoped for from this advertisement and maybe any other advertisement you might be doing. If these assumptions are correct, please continue watching this video as I think it will be really good information for you. So the problem with your website is you have a brochure website. And what I mean by that is you've got uh, you know, your company name, um, some an image here on your homepage, some brief information, information about your services, uh, a gallery of some of the work that you've done, and a contact us page. So your website does about as much as your average uh, run-of-the-mill brochure does. It simply provides information, but it does nothing to sell the visitors of your website. And this costs you customers in three ways. The first one is it doesn't capitalize on all visitors into your site. So people coming onto your site after they see your advertisement, they're going to fall into three different categories. The first category is those who saw your ad uh, or looked you up and they're ready to go. You know, they've been saving money for, let's use the example of a paved, uh, paved stone driveway. They've been saving up money for this and, and they're ready to go. So they're going to come on your website, do some research, check out your work, make sure you do good work, uh, and then pick up the phone and call you. Uh, the second group of people are those who, uh, they're interested, you know, they saw your advertisement, came on your website, and did some research, and they're also highly interested in, in hiring you, but maybe they're thinking to themselves, uh, well, you know what, I'm going to spend a couple months just kind of saving up some more money, and, and then I'll contact this company down the line in a few months. Um, and then the third group of people are those who never had any pre-thought to, to doing a paved stone driveway, but they see your advertisement, an idea gets sparked in them, they come to your website, do some research, and they think to themselves, yeah, this, this looks great, maybe I should do something, our driveway is getting pretty old and cracked. Um, and they're still at the very beginning of the research phase, so they're very unlikely to, to call you. They're just kind of beginning um, to, to think about getting a new driveway. And so your website does a great job for this uh, for the first group of people. You know, you've got your website here in large font. You've got a contact us page with multiple ways for them to contact you. But your website does nothing for the second and the third group of people. And so these are visitors that are coming onto your website, and and they're good visitors. You know, they're they're interested in 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 what you do. It's not that they're not interested. It just happens to be that they're interested in months down the line, or they're still kind of in their initial research phase, so they're not really ready to buy yet. And you know, these are visitors that you've paid for uh, through your advertisements. And so, what a good salesperson would do is a good salesperson would collect their information, build a relationship with these leads, and get them to the point where uh, where they are ready to buy. And your website isn't doing anything like that, so it's just letting these customers uh, just slip right through your fingers. So that's the first issue, uh, first way. The second way is that your website doesn't use good sales copy. You know, if I if I continue using the example of a paved stone uh, driveway, you know, what are the reasons someone would want a uh, paved stone driveway? Well, the reasons might be that they want to increase their property value. Um, you know, their website, their driveway is old, it's cracked, it's dangerous for their kids when they're riding their skateboards and different things like that. And so they're looking for they're looking for an upgrade. You know, they're looking to um, to increase their property value and different things like that. And you know, human beings we're we're emotional creatures. Uh, you know, we we make our decisions yes off of off of logic, but a lot of times it's it's emotion, and, and it's when we really see that the we have these this problem, and we we want to get rid of these these things that are causing us problems, and that's what a good salesperson would do. Is a good salesperson would harp on the problems that uh, that they're having and the ways that y you guys would solve these problems and the benefits you provide. And since your website is just a brochure site and it simply provides information, it does nothing to, to sell these visitors um, using benefits and problems and different things like that. And so your visitor to, to customer ratio, uh, conversion ratio, is going to be much smaller than, than it could be. The last thing is your website is, is quite a bit outdated. Um, you know, your layout is, is uh, very generic. It's kind of like an early 2000s 
kind of style layout and um, it doesn't look uh, very professional which I'm sure is something that you you want um, you want to to have for your companies to pr pr portray a very professional look it also doesn't uh, have mobile capabilities it's not responsive so this is how it looks like on uh, on a desktop and then this is you know how it looks like on a mobile device and so this is going to be extremely difficult to use and a lot of people are going to are going to leave the website when accessing on their on their iPhone or the Android or their iPad which everyone's on today just because uh it's frustrating it's hard to use and then lastly you're not using inbound marketing and um you know inbound marketing is a a way for you to get natural uh traffic from the search engines and establish yourself uh, as a expert in the eyes of your visitors by pr publishing top quality content continuously on your site uh, that solves the issues and the problems that your potential customers have. So, so far in this video I've uh, really just been giving you bad news it feels like. Uh, I truly believe your website is costing you clients some money that you've already paid for. Um, but the good news is that this can be easily fixed. So what I recommend doing is give me a call at this number here. I can answer any questions that you might have about how this could be fixed, about direct response, uh, about inbound marketing. I can give you examples and case studies of direct response sites and the results that other companies have uh, gotten through direct response. And we can also set up a no commitment consultation absolutely free where I can give you more in-depth detail, more information, and at the end of the meeting, if you want to take that information and implement it into your website, into your marketing, then you're more than welcome to, and you'll walk away with some great information. Or if you want to hire me to fix these issues and to Im improve on the results that your advertising uh, gets, f gets for you and stop letting these customers just slip through your fingers, then you can you can hire me to do so but you're absolutely not obligated in any way so go ahead pick up the phone give me a call and I look forward to chatting with you soon